Hey guys, it's Joel from GunToter.org. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Bees Combat Systems Aptum Micro X AK Chest Rig. Now, before we get into that, if you could go down in the corner, hit like, hit share, hit subscribe. And if you could go down into the description and check out our Patreon page, uh, everything that we review here on the channel, we do purchase on our own. So if you could help us out with that monetarily, that would be awesome. Now, obviously, this is, I believe, number four of the, uh, the micro rig chest series we've done. We've done Spiritus, uh, we've done RDR, and we've done Haley Strategic. So this is the Bees Combat Systems Aptum Micro X AK. The reason I really wanted to review this rig in particular was because one of the top questions I get uh, when I post a micro rig review is, hey, can I, can I use that with AK Max? And uh, so far it's been kind of hit or miss. Like none of the, the three that I've reviewed so far have been specifically designed for AKs. And the reason for that is fairly simple. One, the AR is a more popular platform. And B, the uh, military uses the M4. So if you're trying to get military contracts, you're gonna design stuff that works with the M4, not necessarily the AK. But with that said, bees saw kind of that gap in the market, right? Uh, lots of lots of uh, AK users out there, and I would argue that it's probably a growing segment of the gun community that is at least interested in AKs and owns an AK. So Bees decided that they would design a chest rig specifically for uh, AK magazines to hold three AK mags. Um, and if you go on their website right now, you'll actually see three different micro X rigs. You'll see uh, an AK, an AR, and a 308. Now, the only difference between the AK and the AR is actually the insert. The actual size of the rig itself is the same. The AK rig just holds three AK mags. The AR rig holds three AR mags and a tourniquet because obviously it's a little bit wider. Therefore, uh, you can fit some extra stuff in there that you can't uh, in some of the, the smaller size rigs. Um, you looking at this right it looks kind of familiar like the general layout looks kind of like the rdr with the main pouch and the two smaller front pouches uh, but i think there's a couple things that bees has done in their design that kind of sets them apart a little bit uh, from some of the other uh, the other groups uh, one of them obviously is the fact that this is specific specifically sorry not enough coffee this morning specifically designed to carry three ak magazines which are wider than your standard AR mags. So it is a bigger rig overall. Uh, they also, on the front pouches, they also made sure to loop line them all the way around. So even the, the flaps here have loop lining on the inside so that if you whether you're using the flaps or not using the flaps, you have loop front and backs, which gives you better purchase. Uh, the RDR that I had, uh, the sample that I had, actually did not have loop on the back side of these uh, flaps. So when you put the flaps in, you only had loop on the front half of the pouch, which is basically half the adhesion, really, that I would like to see uh, if I was inserting something into that pouch, something with a, with a, a hook backer. Um, so I really like the fact that they've, they've gone in and made sure that even when you're using the flaps, you're getting good adhesion uh, for your inserts. The second thing, uh, and I'm gonna have to show you the in, in the insert here, um, obviously you can see here, these are uh, set up for just standard side, re side release buckles. Um, as with all the other micro rigs, these are removable side release buckles. But something they've done that's kind of unique is they've actually made it so that you can use the uh, first spear tubes on these as well. Um, first spear makes a, uh, an a kind of an aftermarket tube, um, just like a lot of these um, removable side releases are. and you can actually put those on this uh, rig. Now for a lot of people, it's not really that big of a deal, but uh, if you use aftermarket cummerbunds, like the ones that Bees makes, uh, I believe First Bear actually uh, now has a chest rig that uses the, the tube system. Um, so you can actually run that on here with the tubes instead of using the side releases, if that's your thing. Uh, again, maybe it's a big deal, maybe it's not, but it's kind of that extra little step, that extra little bit of versatility that bees put into this rig um, that you know you, you don't necessarily see from other rigs that are just kind of stuck in that uh, side release buckle. 
So that's that's a neat thing uh, for me. Uh, obviously, since you don't see the stock insert that actually came with it, uh, I do have s -Tech Kiwis in here. I have three AKS Tech Kiwis, and I'm using the 8492 Nylon Works adapter kit, and it fits perfectly. The sizing for this is, is spot on as far as AK mags go. Uh, the insert is, is kind of standard. You can see the picture of it right here. Um, the kind of going back to what I said earlier, where I said there's there's an AK and an AR version, uh, and the only difference is the insert. You cannot buy the insert separately, currently. So if you buy the AK rig, you can't buy an AR insert to go in it, and vice versa. Uh, now I talked to bees. They did say that they intend to do that eventually, but right now the order volume is really high as it is with a lot of the manufacturers in the tactical industry. So they are going to prioritize building the chest rigs first, and then once they kind of, once the surge kind of dies down, uh, they're going to start building inserts separate that you can buy. So no matter which one of these chest rigs you buy, AR or AK, once they have the inserts available, you'll be able to carry either. Uh, show you another picture in the insert here because I really don't like taking all this stuff on and off and rather just show you a picture. Um, the chest rig comes with an H harness and bees made sure that there are laser cut molly uh, points on the harness as well. Now, Again, that may not be a big deal for you, but like for me, if I'm running the chest rig and I'm running a radio, uh, I'm probably going to have a shoulder mic. Having those little Molly attachment points on the on the H harness gives me uh, a mounting point for that shoulder mic. Um, at least until I can get into the more high tech, you know, super cool Peltors and all that other fun stuff. For now, I'm running a shoulder mic and an earpiece, and having a solid mounting point on a chest rig is a big deal to me. Um, and, and it's, again, just one more little bit of attention to detail that I think speaks to Bees' dedication to making a good product for the end user. Um, so those are the positives I've come up with. As far as the negatives, I uh, really haven't seen any so far. Now, this is kind of an initial review, so if I do come across negatives, I will let you know. Um, the only thing that I kind of have for you is two thoughts. These are not necessarily negatives on the rig, they're just thoughts for you if you're going from like AR setups to AK setups and you haven't messed with AKs before, uh, or messed with magazines and chest rigs and so on before. Um, this is obviously a wider chest rig. This plate carrier I'm, ca I'm wearing is an ESAP medium. It fits perfectly side to side on an ESAP medium. But if you wear a smaller kit, it may hang off the sides a little bit. Um, not a big deal functionally, except that if you wear pouches on the side, like I have my radio pouch here, just make sure that you test the interface between the wider chest rig and whatever you have on the sides to make sure they're not interfering with each other. Uh, again, not a knock on the chest rig, it's wide because it has to be, but make sure that you know new gear you buy is still interfacing correctly with old gear. On that same note, if you're running to AKs, AK magazines are longer than AR magazines, which means they stick up higher. Which, as you can see here, this is set up, the plate carrier itself is set up to be an AR rig. So I have my little chest computer pouch here. With AR mags, not a big deal. I can get to this, I can fold it down all day. It's not a, not a huge issue. With the AK mags, again, they're a little longer, they stick up higher. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this thing to fold down like I want it to. So keep in mind, and this is why I preach, you know, when you get gear, you've got to test it and make sure that all the gear works together, uh, especially when you're adding new pieces of gear uh, to your kit. Get out, run around in it, make sure it actually works before you try to implement it in real life uh, because there can be some big changes. So those are my thoughts on this. I'm really happy to see uh, an AK-specific rig for you guys that actually love your AKs and all that weird stuff. Um, I'm happy for you. Um, I'm still running my AR, but I'm happy for you. I um, hope this has been a useful uh, video for you, kind of a quick overview. Uh, if it has, or if it hasn't, either way, uh, feel free to go down in the comments. Uh, let me know. If you have questions, complaints, likes, whatever, let me know. Uh, I do read the comments. I do try to respond. And uh, I actually have based videos off of questions I have gotten in the comments of previous videos. So let me know. 
and I will get on that. Uh, again, if you could help us out monetarily, check out our Patreon page. Um, buying all this stuff does get a little bit expensive and it's pretty awesome uh, when you guys can help us out to try to get good uh, quality product out to you and good reviews. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it because without you guys watching and you guys subscribing and liking and sharing, it's basically just me talking to my camera and uh, you know, that's kind of lame. So thanks again and I hope to see you again next time.